Why do we still too often value girls simply for their bodies instead of their minds? That's just one of the powerful messages from the World Bank Group IMF Spring Meetings 2016. From across the globe, world leaders, humanitarians, and beneficiaries came together to share their experiences and ideas to end extreme poverty. A sustainable forestry advocate from Nicaragua, the UN Secretary General and Jordan's Queen Rania on the refugee crisis, a famed chef on food security, a domestic abuse survivor, and even Bill Gates on how to finance development. I caught up with World Bank Group President Jim Young Kim to get his impressions. There have been so many great events this week. What were some of your personal highlights? Well, you know, if you go back from the early part of the week, uh, we did this event on, uh, on uh, preventing sexual uh, and gender-based violence, and it was really very, very touching. It was really an important moment to say, look, we're going to look at this, we're going we're gonna to keep our attention on this. Then we had Michelle Obama here, and, you know, we were able to announce that we're going to put $2.5 billion uh, into education for adolescent girls, and, and she gave such a great speech. We were able to launch the Global Connectivity Initiative, where we're going to scale up uh, internet connectivity for 1.5 billion people. More recently, we've been really focusing on the uh, forced displacement, the refugee problem. And, and, and it was amazing that uh, something that started as a, an idea with the Secretary General and, and President uh, uh, of the Islamic Development Bank, Dr. Ali, you know, just six months later, uh, we had 140 million grants, a billion in concessional loans, 500 million in guarantees. So uh, those were some great highlights. Many people are saying that these are the best spring meetings yet. Why do you think the spring meetings attract more and more global interest? There's been a, there's been a significant change in understanding of who we are as the World Bank. Not only do we continue to provide direct support for client countries based on their priorities, in doing that, we're also tackling some of the biggest challenges, pandemics, climate change, and now forced displacement and refugees. The IMF is also, I mean, Christine Lagarde has been such a great leader. There, there seems to be more interest. I mean, we have many more people from the UN than we've ever had before. We have many more people interested in the issues that we're talking about than ever before. Uh, I hope it keeps growing.